So we're at a race here in Blavo, Arkansas. Um, very nice area. Looks like it'd be a great course. Um, low number of participants, unfortunately, but um, still should be a good race. Um, so pretty minimal setup. We've got three other races going on. Uh, one in Oklahoma, one in... Uh, uh, actually, the rest of them are in Arkansas, Little Rock, Jonesboro, and of course here in Blavel. So, um, like I said, pretty minimal setup. We've got two antennas. One of them is hooked up to the TR200, which is in the box. I don't expect it's going to rain, uh, but it's extremely humid and there's a chance. So I put everything in the box, and of course, if I need to, I put the box under the table. And I did bring a tent that I can throw up, or we can take one of the tents over there. Um, but as I've only got three antennas hooked up to the, I've, I'm actually using a FX7400 this time. Uh, we have an extra 9500, but it was at one of the timers' houses. I just left it there. So, using 7400, it could be the 7500. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's the older 7400. But um, and I probably should put the battery back up also in there in the power ship. But uh, again, very little concern about rain today. But so uh, three antennas hooked up to the 70. 400, one antenna hooked up to the TR200. I've got my camcorder that uh, all you have to do is just walk over and flip the switch up and it just starts recording. Um, I've got the camera here. I could not find my 15 foot USB cable, so, but this six foot cable, which is actually a TR200, uh, just, well, the, the USB cable that comes out of the TR200 box, I had an extra one of those. Six feet's plenty there. I've got it zoomed out, of course, where it still takes a good picture. Um, Let's see, this is our manual backup computer, which I have right now, uh, uh, doing a countdown timer on the, on the, uh, for, the, for the TV display. So from the registration area, we can look and see, you know, there's an hour and 45 minutes left. Um, so how I did that was, uh, there's two options. You can go to the clock screen, start the clock, and then adjust it back however long. But the easier way is I went into the race, and a, a new feature, it's not really a feature, but it's a new thing I've added, um, to the uh, add edit race screen is that you, you'll see a checkbox that says actual start date and time and if you put for example I put 9 a.m. Um, this morning as the actual start date and time and then when I come back to the clock screen it thinks the race has started and it uh, thinks it started at 9 a.m. which of course is an hour and 45 minutes from now and so if you want to have a countdown timer that's that's kind of how you can do that um, luckily we have power close to the finish line and then I ran one cable over here to a power strip and because it's a fairly small race I let the I let the sound guy plug into my uh, power strip not not super concerned about losing power uh, I've run another extension cord over here to the registration area and I'll show you how I've got that set up so they are handing a disc over there and they'll hand me the forms and ask the athletes to present their tags here and when they do, they'll see the name uh, and age and everything else in the screen there, and I ask them if it's right. And then, of course, before uh, they present it, I'll, I'll put the information in the system. So that's our registration area, and that's our finish line.